Hello guys, this video will be live coding example how I create demo projects like these ones. This was for a separate video about ordering by relationship, but generally how to bootstrap something like this really quickly. So I will do live coding, editing out almost nothing except for like ums and ah uh and, and various random things. So let's see how quickly I can get to it. It should be around five minutes or so, and I will comment along the way. Let's go. So we start by creating a new project, project four. And locally I'm using Laravel Valet, which will configure on my MacBook the domain name project4.test. I often get asked what is .test and how does it work. So I'm using Laravel Valet for that. So now if I open the browser and go project4.test, it's a default Laravel homepage. Now let's change the folder to project four and let's generate the models with migration. So PHP artisan, make model category with migration factory and cedar and similar to products product model with migration factory and cedar and let's fill in the fields so here's our project for project in the php storm and for categories all we need to do is name string name and then product is belongs to a category so foreign id to product or category ID, in fact, constraint, and then string name, and then integer for price. Price will be in cents, and we will divide into 100 when viewing that. So with factories, we need to, actually, let's go to models first and make all of those fillable. So fillable is name, and in the product, there are three fillable fields, fillable, name, category ID, and price, something like this. Then to generate the fake data, like hundreds of products and categories, we do factory rules. Factory category, all we need to define is the name field, which will be this faker, fake data of text, for example, 10 characters. And with product factory, we will have name also faker. So this faker text 20, for example, price random from 1000 cents to 9999, for example. And category ID for shorter way, we just use random from one to 100, we will have 100 categories. Or in fact, let's make it fewer, 10 categories. And in the seeder, we will have category seeder and seed those 10 categories. Category, factory, 10 records, create. So you can choose to have random one to 10 only when you have 10 categories from one to 10 IDs. So it's kind of a hack. And for a real project, I would probably use the relationship here. So category factory create and for product seeder, same thing, product factory, I don't know, 100 products, create, something like this. And then in the database seeder, I need to launch this call category seeder first, class, duplicate the line, product seeder class, like this. And now let's try to migrate the data, PHP artisan migrate fresh seed. So we have the data. Now let's show it. PHP artisan make controller first. For example, product controller. We'll have a product table, product controller. Now in routes web, we will attach the home page from welcome to home or actually product controller class and index method. For example, let's open product controller create public function index, which will have products equals product all. And we'll change that in a minute. Return view, for example, products index with all products. Now we need to load the products with categories and we don't have that relationship yet. Let's create that function category. Return this belongs to category class like this. 
And now we need to create our view, products index. How do we do that? First, let's install Laravel UI. And for this specific quick example, I will use Bootstrap Laravel UI. And for those who think that it doesn't work anymore, it still does work. It doesn't get any updates like for Bootstrap 5 or something, but it still works. Composer require Laravel UI. Then we have PHP Artisan UI Bootstrap dash dash auth. Then we need to run npm install and npm run dev. And I will not wait for it. I will make a pause in this video and we'll back in 30 seconds or so. Okay, success. It generated the bootstrap scaffolding. And now let's create that products index based on one of those resources views auth. So we won't use actually the auth of the bootstrap UI, but we open login blade and do file save as products and then index blade like this so we will have products as a title and then instead of the all of that form we will have the table and let's see how it looks if we open our home page we refresh and we have products table and the last thing that we need here is to fill in the table so instead of that table we do table class table bootstrap class then header of the table is row of product then duplicate duplicate category price and body we do have products already so for each of products as product and for each we do the row of td product name duplicate duplicate category name and price with dollar at the beginning and do formatting of the price with number format cents divided into dollars and two digits after the dot refresh and we have our table so this is how quick it is to generate some demo project like this one in almost live coding mode and if you want to see me creating more demo projects like this one on this YouTube channel, you can support my channel by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen now, Quick Admin Panel Generator, Livewire Kit, or set of my courses on Teachable. See you guys in other videos.